guys, welcome back. Today I have invented an easy count on timer that you can set to whatever you want and also have an output. So let me just show you the basics here. Um, one second will be 20 on the timer, so you'll set the timer up to 20. So if I just do that, as you can see the timer started from 20 and that is one second. That is because this clock here activates 20 times per second. So, 2 seconds will be 40 seconds. So, I mean 40 ticks. 360 and 4 and then all the way up to 100. So, if I just set this, if I just go to scoreboard players, set at A or at P or whatever your select is and I set my timer to 1000 as you can see it will count down from 1000 and go all the way down to 0 we we'll just set it back to 10 and it will stop and say time's up the time's up is my output instead of saying time's up you can do whatever you want you can do any type of outputs so I'm going to show you how this works. Okay, so first of all, as you can see in the bottom left of the screen, I've got a scoreboard called Timer, and it is a dummy. Uh, the type is a dummy, and you'll have to make that for this to work. You can call it whatever you want, but you'll just have to change the name Timer in the command blocks. So once you've made that, then you want to make yourself a full clock. If I just, um, whoops. If I just grab this command block here and just put it down there. Um, you can see I've got a full clock here. It doesn't have to be a full clock. It can be also a set block clock. But, um, it was a full clock when I started. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And if I just quickly do that. And as you can see, the bottom command is a full command that will set block or place a block of air on top of it. And the command block on the top will constantly place a resting block below it. The command block on the right will remove one from a timer with a scoreboard player's command. And the command block on the left will do your actual display of your timer. So this can be in the form of a tell rule, a title, or your sidebar. So if I just go out of F1 mode, you can see it's this thing right here. And that is basically all it is. If I just, I'm gonna put commands on the screen now. It's the title, or your sidebar, or you can have the tell rule. And you can just copy those and put them into your world. The command block behind the comparator is your output and it is a testable command that will test for any players who's got a timer of zero. If they do it will activate your output blocks which are right here. So that is basically it. So if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and I'll put a will download into the description below so you can check this out for yourself and I'll see you all next time.